Hey guys, it's Mark here. Thanks so much for checking out this video. I'm making this because I've been putting out a lot of posts lately and I think some folks have been taking them the wrong way. I, at times, like to make posts just giving a quick market update on a certain facet of the market. Maybe it's just touching on what interest rates are doing. Maybe it's touching on what's been going on in the housing market for buyers, what's been going on for sellers, things like that. Uh, sometimes I send out tweet-like updates. And I think some folks were getting scared by that. So I apologize if anyone was taking some of those shorter posts the wrong way. It wasn't intended to, to be like that. I was trying to just give a quick and informative update on new data that I'm coming across as it comes up. So I wanted to take it all, put it all together into one short video and explain it um, so that we can see the entire picture. So some of the things I posted recently that I want to touch on first are mortgage rates. So Right now, mortgage rates have gone up astronomically this year. Uh, just a few months ago, they started inching higher and then whoosh, it just like went from the, in the threes to the fives. That's what we're seeing uh, mortgage interest rates doing right now. Uh, now, as bad as that sounds, it might, it might likely get worse through the remainder of the year. It's very likely that interest rates are going to rise uh, additionally this year. So, as rough it is, as it is to be a home buyer right now, it's still probably a better time than if you waited until later this year or next year, just because we don't know what interest rates are going to do. Maybe they're going to get worse. So that's kind of one point I was touching on the other day when I made a post about interest rates. Monthly mortgage payments are up 42%. So you're going to pay 42% more today for a house than you would have a year ago. And that's because house prices have risen dramatically. For example, 350000 is what you would have paid nationally for a home at the beginning of this year. Now, homes are inching closer to 400000 That's the median national price point. It's also very challenging to even win a house. What do I mean by win a house? Some, someone asked me this yesterday when I was explaining to them. They said to me, and this happens a lot, if you're a real estate agent, you know what I'm talking about. People will say to you, you must be loving this market. And I say, well, you would think that. I, I get why someone would think that, but it's actually not true. And let me explain. So there's two kind of real estate agents. Um, most people are both of those real estate agents, though not at the same time. What I'm talking about is you can be a listing real estate agent, which is someone who lists somebody's house for sale. Hey, Gary. Hey, Stephanie. Thanks for being here. And you can list someone's house for sale. And in that case, yes, a lot of real estate agents are loving that right now. But uh, if you're a buyer's agent, if you like to help buyers win a house, like I, I honestly work probably two thirds with buyers than I do with sellers. So I do work with both sellers and buyers. But when you're helping a buyer in this kind of market that we're facing right now, it's very challenging for a buyer to win a house. So someone asked me what I meant by that yesterday. What I mean is nationally right now, things are so challenging for, for acquiring a house that on average, nationally, it's taking buyers who are shopping for a home seven tries to win a house. Seven attempts. That means you have to see a house, make an offer, you lose. You see another house, you make another offer, you lose. And that happens on average seven times right now before people win a house. So that is what I'm referring to when I'm saying when I'm saying it's really hard to even win a house right now in today's market. And then on average, nationally, houses are getting about five offers per house. So think about that. If you're a home buyer this year or last year, you've been making an offer on a house. You probably didn't win the house when you made the offer. When you gave your offer to the seller, they might have rejected it. You might not have won the house. And so that's what we're seeing right now nationally. Seven tries before you can win a house is the national average. And five offers are on average being received per house that's listed for sale. So when you're a buyer's agent, when you're trying to help a buyer buy a home, uh, it's very hard for those buyers. I've worked with some folks that have made 13 or more attempts to win a house and uh, finally won one. And when people do win a house, typically in this market, they're paying tens of thousands of dollars over what the house is listed at and tens of thousands more than the house is worth. I've seen people pay 50 grand more for a house than it's literally worth when it got appraised. But that's what it takes to win a house in this market. It's not ideal. It's not fun. It is frustrating, but that's just what we're facing right now. So as interest rates continue higher, perhaps next year, things will chill out a little bit. That's what we're hoping. We're seeing that the market is starting to cool. 
But again, it's just starting to cool. People who say that the housing market is going to crash, I'm sorry, I don't agree with that. We're in a very different situation today than we were in 2008. In 2008, the mortgage crisis happened because people were getting mortgages who shouldn't have gotten mortgages. Since that time, we have a very solid, if not the most solid book of loan business we've had in the past decade. So people who've been getting loans are, are really qualified for them. And it's very unlikely they're going to default on their loans and lose their house. So we've had a lot of tightening up in the mortgage industry. I would say that it went to an overcorrection from 2008, where lending guidelines were super loose prior to 2008. Anyone could get a loan. Your dog could get a loan, practically. They had a joke. There was a ninja loan. No job, no income. That's the kind of loan people were getting back then. You could just qualify for a loan if you were living and breathing, basically. But then it went the other direction after the crash in 2008, and now it's been very hard for people to qualify for loans. It's harder. There's more stringent criteria, and it's only getting harder and harder. So we're not going to have a housing crash because of mortgages, because people are going to be underwater. There will be some, of course, but nothing like 2008. What we're suffering from right now is low inventory, record low inventory. There were 60, there are 60% fewer houses for sale on the market right now than there were two years ago. We're at a severe housing shortage. And what does basic ep economics tell us? Supply and demand, right? We have a very low supply of houses and a very high demand for them. That is why housing prices are skyrocketing upwards. So anyway, I just wanted to share all these things. Again, just want to remind you, it is rough out there to be a home buyer. You should still likely consider buying though because the affordability is going to get worse and worse as taxes go up on property taxes, especially here in Texas, as interest rates continue to rise. And a lot of people are leaving the buying market and going to the rental market, unfortunately. So uh, if you're a home seller, great time to sell a house right now. We may be reaching the peak of the market frenzy. Not to say that houses won't continue to inch higher. I absolutely believe that they will. But the frenzy and the insanity where people are paying 50, 100, whatever, thousand dollars over asking price, that will probably chill out in the coming months. People, we may go back to a normal market where you can win a house at or around asking price. Now, we may be a little bit away from that, but if you want to sell a house and get a crazy offer that you probably wouldn't get a year from now, might be a good time to sell. Can't guarantee it, but that's what we're seeing right now. If you have any questions, leave a comment. If you're a realtor, show some love, show some support. And thank you for allowing me to kind of clarify and add context to my posts. If you'd like me to continue posting some market updates, please let me know. I hope you guys have a blessed and wonderful day. Thanks so much.